Alright, how's it going guys? Stop Levi here. And today I'm gonna to be doing a little tutorial in After Effects and Cinema 4D on motion tracking with well 3D motion tracking. Um so basically what you want to start out with is it here in After Effects, you wanna grab your cinematic, make sure it's all trimmed down and everything, and you wanna just pre-compose it like I have right here. And so you wanna to go to your clip, you wanna track camera, and when once that's done, you should have the effect here, 3D camera tracker with all these little dots on the ground now that you'll see if you, you gotta make sure this is clicked if it's not correct you, you won't see all the dots and the little nodes or nulls I mean so now basically you just wanna find a point on the ground you wanna create a null and a camera and so now we have right there we have a tracked little point on the ground there and so basically what we wanna do is file export Maxon Cinema 4D exporter. Basically, now I want to just name this track tutorial if I can spell. And I'm just going to save that to a new folder on my desktop. You would be saving this to your project file, or your project folder, sorry. Um, tutorial. Okay, open that up, save. So now that's saved in there. And then the other thing you want to do in After Effects is add to render queue, lossless, and this is the important part here. JPEG sequence is what you want the format to be. Hit OK. Um, oh, that's good. Comp one, you can just name right there. You don't want to change any of this underline and then the number number thing. Leave all that the same. Just change that. Say uh, let's change that to tutorial, like that. It'll automatically save it into a subfolder. So let's name this material animation. You'll understand why I say that in a little bit if I could spell animation like that. There we go. All right. Um. So now we want to go save that into our tutorial folder here. Hit save, render. So that starts rendering out. Obviously, for your, it'll be different length for yours if your cinematic is longer or whatever. If it's longer, it'll take more time. Obviously, depending on your computer, how good it is, everything. All right, so now that this is done, we want to close, quit that. That's just a different thing I was working on. Um, basically, open up a tutorial folder here. Oh, I want to over there. Open track tutorial. Ignore that. So you want to. Oh, mine always does this for some reason. Make sure you're on the standard template, wherever that is. I don't even know how you do it from here. But basically, now you have your camera in here of your tracked cinematic. And so you want to create a new material down here by double clicking down below or just hitting create new material. Um, uncheck specular. And now in the color section here, click the arrow and texture and hit load image. And you want to go to your folder. So I want to go to my tutorial folder, material animation. Click the first one. All right, yep. So you want to click the first one right here. Have it highlighted and hit open. Hit no. Um, click where it says the, um, what do you want to call it? The file destination or whatever. Click animation, click calculate, type in your frame rate, mine is 59.94, and close out of that now, put that, oh, first you want to make a, right on this section here, whatever that's called, um, hold down, and then let go when it's a, when you have background highlighted, then you want to drag your material onto the background, and so now you see it goes through like this. And so now basically what you want to do is go to MoGraph, most of you already probably know this, but MoText, um, let's say I wanted to track Levi, change my font and everything, put that in the middle, oh, go to font, I'm going to go with leaf, uh, I'm going to make the depth a little bit bigger, like that. Oh, so now we have it like 
that's we have no edges on it, so I'm gonna put a cap, so I'm gonna put fillet cap, fillet cap, three, 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 three. And I'm gonna grab a material real quick to put on it. Basically I have a bunch of material packs that I bought for most of them are for GFX, but a few of them I just used for cinematics also because I don't have many materials for Cinema 4D. This is optional. It, you obviously want to put material on your text. You can even just make your own texture. It's not too hard. You can just put a reflection on it if you want. Um, make a reflection map for it. You can look that up in a different tutorial or maybe I'll make a new video on that. Um, so basically I'm just going to grab a really simple texture so that this doesn't take too long to render. Grab a concrete texture. Put that right there. Click that on our text like that. Change it to cubic seamless. Seamless like that. And so I'm going to just go along here. Change the position to where I want it. Change the rotation. Alright. Change the scale up a bit. Change the position again. Oh, come along a little bit more. Put it back a little bit further. Right to there. Alright, so now I have Levi. You can put it wherever you want, obviously. Um, right here, you're going to want to do some masking and After Effects so that you can get that just right. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, but basically, you just want to render this out now. I'm only going to render the first few frames so I can show you how to mask here. So I'll render about 20 frames of it. Um, and so yeah, you want to go into your settings. Right up there is that button right there. Go to output, make sure all of this is good, all your frame rate and everything, all frames. Go to save, you want it to be a quick time movie. Um, click alpha channel, choose your destination. So I want mine to be in tutorial. I want it to be called tutorial 3D text. And so now you want to just click save, go to anti aliasing, best. 2x2, two two, click global illumination if you want a nice good quality. But if you do that, now you want to do, if you have a light room, that's great, put that in, but I'm not going to use that. That's what I always use, but you just want to put a light in. You want to go back to where it is. Put a light in. Adjust it to where you want. Like that, let's do that. Um, let's just preview that real quick. Yep, okay. Um, let's just make another light real quick. If I just put that over there, over there, like that, and I just go like that, put another light over here. Perfect. All right, preview that. Looks good. So now basically what you want to do is save your file with control S or just go to file save. You want to hold down this, add to render queue, and so I have a bunch of stuff here. I can just delete that, jobs, start rendering. And so now that'll take a little bit to render. Oh, hang on. Don't do that, don't do that. You want to disable your background like that, and you want to then render it. Save changes, just delete that other one. Job start rendering. Basically, this just makes it render a little bit quicker, in my opinion, and also it's a lot easier to work with in After Effects. You can do a lot more effects, like a fade in, like you have like the opacity change. You can have light streaks coming off it. Basically, anything you want. Have it glow. Just make it look a lot nicer by putting a color correction on it, on just the text so that it looks like it's, like, so you can basically composite it into the scene. Um, yeah, I'm just going to let this render out and I'll be right back. Alright, so now that you have that done, I want to close Cinema 4D here, open After Effects back up, go to your project section, open up the folder that has your rendered out 3D text import the After Effects, um, go to your composition that has your um, 
tracked cinematic here. You can just hide the null, it doesn't really matter anymore. Just put that on top, and so now you have your tracked text. Basically what you want to do now is you want to make a mask. If you have it, see how it goes in front of the wall here when it's clearly supposed to be behind the wall? You basically just want to take a mask, place it there, there, there. Mask it like that. And basically what you want to do is make sure you keyframe the mask, go along, move it back like that, make sure it's good and everywhere, so if I move along like that it's nice and smooth, perfect. And after that one, now that it's completely gone from me, you can just move it off to the side like that. And so there you go. That's your tracked Cinema 4D text. Basically what you can do now is if you want, right where you had that null, you could make a layer new solid, call it shadow. Uh, you're going to want to, yeah, you can just use it as a square like that. Um, make it 3D by clicking right there, click R for rotation, just make it basically flat on the ground like that, well actually you go here, click R on the null, and shift click with, and click P, oh, whoops, I just did a bunch of things, so you want to hold down R, click shift, P, so now you have the rotation and the position open, and you just want to highlight, orientation, shift click position, control C, go to shadow, your solid up here, hit P, shift click R, highlight the same things, click control V, so now it basically pastes those positions there, bring it towards you, make it right underneath your text. Uh, rotate it a bit so it's like that. Make it bigger. Just like that. So there's like that. And now basically what you want to do, grab your masking tool, make a little mask along it like this. Just a little circle like that. And then you want to click M here to get your mask. Go down to here, feather it a bunch. Click T for opacity, bring the opacity down a bit. And bam, there you go. You have a little shadow for your text now. You can obviously do, your, do it a lot more accurate by making it the same shape and everything of your text and everything. Or whatever you have motion tracked. Um, you're then also going to want to take the you're going to want to go to your tutorial, your text here, highlight the mask, copy it, go to your shadow, paste it, that actually doesn't work. You want to grab your cinematic here, duplicate it by doing control D, or don't duplicate it, that's weird, oh, hang on, <laughs> wow, almost crushed there, that was weird. Put that on top of everything, paste the ma mask there. Make that mask add. Oh, you gotta adjust it a bit now. Put it down a bit. Go along, put it down a bit. Go along, put it down a little. And there. Perfect. So now you have a motion track shadow and everything. Shadow and your text. You can actually delete the mask from your text here, and voila. There you go. That's how you ha do it, guys. Um, that is motion tracking with After Effects and Cinema 4D. Well, putting your text in Cinema 4D and motion tracking with Cine with After Effects. 
Uh, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like down below and comment what you want a tutorial of next. Um, yeah, peace, guys. Oh, one last thing. I'm gonna be a lot gone for the week, so probably no uploads on Stop Clan this week. Sorry about that. I'm at a camp learning how to make. Basically, just learning how to program. I already know how to program, but like just like more specific things. Hopefully, I can use that, co incorporate it with our channel and everything. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys on Friday.